What's up guys, Ryan here from Skulls and Barbells. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about uh, a topic that I've been getting a lot of questions in my DMs lately, um, a few emails and a lot of it from my athletes. And that is how do I pack my ISO bag and how to set yourself up for success while traveling. So what I wanna to do today is I kinda of wanna take, this is my actual ISO bag, this is the one that I carry every day. And I'm actually gonna break this down and show you guys exactly how I pack my ISO bag and how I've designed it and set it up to where I can actually travel with this. I've never had any issues with TSA, um, except for some ice packs, so it's will go over here in a little bit as well. Um, but for the most part, everything else in here is travel friendly. So let's go ahead and break this thing down and show you guys what I got. So this, um, there's many varieties, varieties of these bags out there. Uh, this is a six pack bag. Um, you also have um, Fitmark, you have um, ISO bag, all those companies are really, really good. Uh, they're just personal preference. But again, once you get your ISO bag, it's kind of how you customize it. That's really gonna set yourself up for success. So first thing I'll do here is I'll go through the main compartment. So if you look down here and I open up the main compartment, the first thing you're gonna see is this pill case. Um, I carry one of the large pill cases. I've talked about this on IG a few times. Um, and you guys still always ask me everything that's in the pill cases, what I take, how I set those up, how I label them. So that'll probably be another video. But I love this pill case because it literally fits right here in my front of my ISO bag. So I'm not having to carry that around, throw that in an extra bag or whatnot. Um, right here, obviously I don't have any food in here today. Um, but if you look in here, I always carry four ISO containers. So these are the six pack containers that actually come with the six pack bag. So. The reason I always keep these in here is so I don't, uh, I don't forget them or I don't lose them. So every time I pull these out of the dishwasher, I literally throw those right back in there because also if I'm on the go or I'm in a hurry and I have to grab this bag and roll, everything else I have in here, which you'll see here in a second, I already have fats, carbs, some proteins, but if I have my containers with me and I'm on the way somewhere and I didn't have a chance to meal prep, I can stop at the gas station and I can stop at the grocery store. I can stop anywhere and actually grab some food to add into those containers, which I actually have a scale in here that I'll show you here in a second too. Um, so that's basically what I carry in the main compartment of my ISO bag or six pack bag. Um, there are ice packs that slide on the sides right here. Uh, there's these little pockets you can put them in. I don't use the bags that come with ice bags that come with these bags because they're, they're plastic filled gel. And I always have issues with TSA when I use those. So what I do is I go to like the dollar store or if I'm the grocery store and I get the square um, plastic um, ice packs and I literally just freeze those and I slide those in because usually those you'll get through every time. Um, so right there, that's the front of the ISO bag. So I'll go ahead and just throw that back up. And then we'll get into some more fun and exciting parts of the ISO bag where I keep a lot of the stuff that you guys have a lot of questions on. Um, if you go up here to the top compartment, which a lot of these uh, meal bags have a top compartment, you can put a lot of miscellaneous junk in, but I'll show you guys how I set that up here. So if you look right in here, this is the top of the ISO bag, and this is what I carry in uh, this little slot right here. First thing, I always have a bag of some type of almond butter or nut butters. Um, here, I have two packs of Justin's Classic Nut Butter. Actually, I think this other one is chocolate almond, but uh, these are really, really good travel packs, so we'll, we'll uh, take a shot of that later. Um, carbs, I always carry at least three or four packs of the, um, well, oh my gosh. Oh, the 100 calorie better oats. I love these things, guys. Um, these things are about 18 grams of carbs a piece. They're easy to travel with. And if you look at the back of it, they actually have a line up here where you can tear it and it shows you how far to fill up either with your almond milk or your water or whatnot. So traveling and being in a hotel with these is absolutely amazing. Um, I also carry some protein in here. So as you guys can see here, I, these are my favorite right here are these individual single packets of whey protein that I get from On Protein. And then I also have in here um, a single packet of Mass Industries uh, whey protein as well. Actually, another really, really good protein. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Mitch. Um, also, on top of the ice bag, I carry a scale. This is some BS scale. I think we got it. Uh, maybe Target or Walmart for like 10 or $15, not even cheaper than that. It's pretty lightweight, it's a little bulky, but it just stays in my ISO bag. But this way I can always make sure that I'm able to weigh my food while on the road instead of trying to have to eyeball it. Um, I'm just OCD like that when it comes to food, so I wanna make sure that I'm always on point. But this is a really, really good thing to use guys when you travel, because when you have that scale, there is no guessing. All right, so let me throw these back in here. 
And again, guys, this is just how I set my ISO bag up. You can do it many different ways, but hopefully this will just be some type of guide to help show you what you can and can't or should put in your ISO bag. Again, to set yourself up for success. Um, on this top pouch here that has this little zipper, um, I carry Airborne and Zycam, just in case you get sick. I do a lot of travel, obviously, with what I do, guys, um, as you see me through the airports all the time. So I make sure that I always have some type of medication like this with me while I travel, and um, that way I can try to hopefully prevent anything from, from happening while I do. So again, this Airborne, which is vitamin C, and then Zycam, which kind of helps prevent colds, which is actually really, really good. Um, see what else. Um, you guys know how I am about coffee. So I have a bag here of Splenda with some coffee stirs in it, because you can always get coffee, um, but usually they don't have Splenda wherever I go, so I make sure I carry my own. And then hand wipes. These wet ones are awesome. I got them at Target for maybe like a dollar. Um, carrying these in your ISO bag is amazing, especially going through airports, travel. Um, you're always eating food. Uh, you know, you have utensils, you don't want to throw them back in your bag all nasty. So I usually clean them off with this until I can get to my hotel or, you know, wherever I'm going and actually uh, wash those through the, the dishwasher or whatnot. So these are always really, really good to use. And if you've been in the military or law enforcement, um, there's other reasons you need these. These are always really, really good for travel. Um, all right, let me put all this stuff back in here. And guys, if you notice, everything in my ISO bag is in plastic bags. Um, that's for two reasons. One, keep everything dry in case it's raining or in case I spill something, which for my case is probably most likely gonna happen. Um, and then I also do it for organization. That way everything I need is just categorized into one plastic bag and it just makes things that much easier. And then of course, it's also not just toggling around in your ISO bag, it's all one spot. So what we'll do is we'll go to the side pockets. So on the right side of my ISO bag, and I'm left-handed, so my ISO bag is probably set up a little different than how you guys would do it. Um, but this is probably the best thing that I carry in this ISO bag, or one of is I have a shaker cup. Just a simple plastic, uh, it's a blender cup I've had for like five years. In this blender cup, what I do is I carry all of these plastic composite forks and knives, and I got these from REI, and these are all travel friendly. So these are perfect. I keep these in the, um, the shaker cup, so that way they don't poke through the bag, fall out, uh, make a hole, rip anything. They're all right there in there, so it just makes a lot of sense to keep that together. Um, behind that, in a plastic bag, I carry a bunch of paper towels. Um, again, I'm freaking a mess monster, so I'm always making a fucking mess, but not only that, I've probably given out more of this shit at shows. Hey, anybody have a paper towel? Anybody have a napkin? So I always carry shit like that. And then of course, with, um, measuring all of the other uh, items, you know, like sea salt and stuff like that. I do carry a tablespoon and a 1 8 teaspoon on this dope ass little skull keychain that I have. So that stays my ice bag as well at all times. Um, in the back side pocket here, I always carry um, a few of these small funnels. Um, these are actually from Core and America Labs. So shout out to you guys, appreciate it. Um, and these are perfect because what I do is I will throw either um, some BCAAs in there if I'm traveling or I might, if I know I'm gonna go train straight from the airport or while I'm traveling, I might go ahead and actually put my entire intra in one of these. So that way when I get to where I'm going, to get to the gym, I don't have to sit there and play with all these powders. I've already done that ahead of time. And now all I have to do is unscrew the top, drop it in and then hit the gym. So these are really, really awesome. If you guys don't have any of these, I highly recommend you get some. Um, Pink Himalayan sea salt. Uh, you can see that's kind of been used, but I carry that. This is just a little um, travel case that I keep in this little glass bottle. So I just put the pink sea salt in there. And then for everybody that talks about how boring water is, I'm a huge fan of Mayo, Mio, whatever you guys call this. Um, it's amazing. I drink this shit like crazy. So I make sure I always carry a bunch of those in here. So if you're with, you see me at a show and you see my ice bag and you have a, a water jug and you need something, I got you. Always. Um, so that's kind of what I carry in the back end on that side. All right, and then we'll move over to the left pocket. And over here, guys, I always keep this one side here open just for miscellaneous stuff. Um, to be honest with you, most of the time, that's just a sleeve of rice cakes. And then I always, um, whether I'm traveling or not, or no matter what I'm doing, I always keep a empty Skulls and Barbells 35 ounce shaker bottle in there. 
um, because one, this is just the perfect size, and I know four of these is a gallon, and when I travel, I can get through TSA with this, and as soon as I break through the line, I can get to the water fountain, I can fill this up, I can grab some spring water at um, one of the little kiosks there, or whatever, and I'll have my shaker with me, so that's awesome. Plus, like I said, I carry all my intra and protein and everything else, so this just helps with that. So, anyway guys, um, that is how I pack my ISA bag. Not only just for um, local when I'm driving around here in Virginia, but also for travel. So this bag stays packed the way it is all the time. And all I literally have to do is just add in my meals and the meal trays, but everything else like that, like you saw with the oatmeal, um, the protein powders, the almond butters, that stuff usually stays in there 24 seven, just because if I'm ever out and about and I'm in a bind, I always have some type of fuel with me. Um, that's just how I like to kind of keep it. I always try to keep, you know, one meal ahead if I can. So I'm always trying to plan for success instead of setting up for failure. So Anyway, guys, that right there uh, shows you everything, like I said, that I pack in here. Uh, I hope you guys liked this. I hope you guys took away something from it. If you guys have any other ideas of how you might set your ISO bag up that I did not cover in here today that you think might be beneficial, not just for me, but for anybody else out there watching who would love to know, please comment below and let me know what you guys do because I'm always looking for new ideas to make this stuff a lot more easy and a lot more efficient for everybody out there. Um, as well as that, guys, please like, comment, share. Um, if you have any ideas of any um, topics you want to see coming up on the next IGTV videos, comment down below with that as well and let us know. And again, I hope you guys took something away from this and I'll talk to you guys later.